Sometimes I find myself in a forest taking photos of a model, um, sometimes traveling to uh, the west side of Michigan to get into an abandoned factory just to uh, get closer to what I want to create. Uh, the process of taking photos with me, um, it can really, it depends on the location I'm in. I can usually find what I want to work with there uh, and it can usually be sparked by really anything. Uh, the, when I went to an abandoned factory, it was for like, this song. There's just a song that's haunting me. Um, and I went to a haunted factory to kind of really capture um, the model in a haunted area. So the artwork hanging up here at CTN um, is from two different shows. One from uh, a show last February. So it was pretty gloomy. That's where the black and white ones come through. Um, and I really wanted to step out of my comfort zone. So it's really where I started working with the process of the overlays. The orange ones that I did the, were Marigold Spirits, um, was for Day of the Dead, and just kind of how I feel as far as um, what the Day of the Dead means to me. The photo with the leaves, I guess essentially it would be in the hair, um, looking off into the sunset was kind of how things can stop growing in the winter, um, and it was more essentially trying to keep holding on to the sunlight and not letting it leave. Three years ago, I took some photos at a festival of live art and it kind of evolved into this random asking of being a part of this live body art show. And I was kind of thrown off. And since then, it has been three years and I think we're like 15 art shows in. <laughs> so I just kind of always felt this thing in my heart that just drove me right towards art and, and teaching. And so being able to have the Singularity House, I don't think I really want to do anything other than that. Um, I just wanted to keep going.